guys are already here. I thought I put you in the pack. Well, how are you? We're gonna do some bushcraft stuff today here on Half Pace Outdoors. Here, Sid. Get your bone. Want a bone? Get your bone. Here. 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 Take it. Take it. Are you gonna take it? Drive my wife nuts and put my trash in my pocket. Because what husband doesn't do that, right? Husband, child, we're all the same. Alright, so the goal today... That's how we're going to do this. We go out with goals. And then we accomplish those goals. And today we're only setting one goal. We're going to make it easy. And today's goal is, like I said, the bow saw. And then if we get to build the shelter, we get to build the shelter. It's all about having fun and doing things at your own pace. So the main tools I need for this are going to be my bow saw blade. I have a new cheap Ozark trail knife from Walmart. It came with a fire steel, but my fire steel's in my kit. So we're gonna beat the snot out of this thing and see how well it holds up. I did regrind the edge into something of a, oh, it's not like a, a full Scandi grind, but I did make it a little bit better for getting shavings. So we'll see how this works out. As always, my tomahawk. So let's go find a tree. Always put your axe or tomahawk mask in your pocket so you don't lose it. Just like that. First things first, since we're at camp, we should probably put our knife on our belt. And I almost forgot to mention that you need some kind of cordage. So, um, yeah, usually use bank line. Um, paracord, whatever really. So what you want to do is take our blade out, save our cardboard for maybe starting a fire later. What you want is your cross member piece has to be the same length as your blade. So, we'll find a nice, and get ahead of myself here. The reason I chose this sapling is because it's about thumb, I've got little thumbs, so I got it bigger than my thumb. But it doesn't have to be much, usually you want something about an inch, that's going to be about an inch across. 
for your pieces. What I'm doing here is taking my knife and I'm cutting little wedges out all the way around. Hey, that's my stick, not yours. I got you a bone. Oh, I got a nice little knot right there. Okay, now that I got a nice little notch out of that, instead of going all the way through and making this wider, I'm just gonna break it off. There we go. There's our cross member. And now this will get whittled down. It'll be to better size. The upright pieces need to be about half of the length of your cross member. All right, we're gonna make the cross member as we, as I trim it up. Now what we need to do is our ends need to come to like a centered point. And the purpose for that is so that when they're connected to our toggles. That point fits into a, or our uprights, not our toggle, our upright. We'll go into, we'll cut a groove in the upright, and then that, those will fit together and allow this to move and stay centered. That's what I'm going for. I'm just making sure you guys can see what I'm doing. You kind of can't, huh? I almost lost the camera.
All right, then what we need to do is cut our notches into our uprights. And I'm actually just gonna kinda use the crook and the stick on this one. Just like that. And we'll actually trim this one down to fit a little bit better. Now what I'm doing here is I'm whipping the ends of my uprights because I have to split the ends in order to hold my blade. And what I do when I whip things like this take a take a loop make it like pinch a loop off and lay that on whatever you're working let's make that a little bit longer so I've got something to pull on okay now this is your this is your tag end, your short end. And then you have your tie-in end. And the way I do it, well, we need to come down here. About right there. And then just start wrapping. Not like Jeezy. Pull that nice and tight. Okay, so you end up with it wrapped, and you got this nice little pretty loop. Just take your tying end, put it through the loop. And pull that. Wow! I just had a caterpillar bite me on the neck. That was awesome. Alright, so then you take your tag in that you started with and you just start pulling. Where you at, Sydney? Down there. Okay, it's not pretty, but it'll hold.
All right, and then to split these, we're gonna take our knife and just batten it through there. And we want this, we want our splits to be the same um, direction as our cross member will be. So they're the same direction that our blade is. See, and then what happens is this whipping stops the stick from splitting any farther than the than the rope goes, than the, the whipping goes. Get a whipping. Alright. Once we have our little pegs in the end of our blade. Let's go ahead and very carefully without cutting yourself because new blades are sharp. Put that through our uprights. We have the beginnings of a bow saw. Ah, oh, nuts. I put this one on backwards. Okay, now that we're this far, you want to go ahead and dry fit your frame together. And you want to take your paracord and go all the way around your frame. And then you wanna, I'm gonna use a square knot because I know how, but you can either tie your paracord into a loop to fit, or use a square knot. Well, that wasn't quite supposed to happen. And then what you do is you take that toggle and you put it through, you put it inside your loop. And then you just start twisting. And you're gonna have to twist for a long time because it's gotta be nice and tight.
getting there. Total bow saw, guys. Let's go try this thing. Now this is quite a bit bigger than anything else I really plan on cutting. I mean, I'll hardly ever process stuff this big, but just to see how our saw is gonna do. moves around. So how can we fix that? Tighten her up some more. That is awesome. This is so cool. <clears throat> ah, and she fell apart. Okay, I didn't quite redesign. I just shortened my cross member up some and then really torqued down on this stick and now I'm not getting near as much movement. So. Awesome though. Tighten that down a little bit more. Maybe we'll try holding it backwards. All right. Well, I reached the end of the or the limit of my cutting capacity but awesome guys we have a bushcraft bow saw made out of sticks ain't that awesome all right so let's go build camp <laughs> 